Let's see. Hey, I'm like about to go live right now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I know, I'm like over here, like, okay, I have my computer so I can see comments. We'll see. This is, it's like everybody who wants to join. Mm hmm. Type of thing. A lot of people are doing that. I'm about to get on with. Oh, oh, for real? Yeah. Um, not me. I'm just following them up on YouTube. Uh, but a lot of people are doing that. Yeah, girl. Hey. Hey, you guys. <laughs> See, be quiet. You know I wear glasses. I'm trying to pull this up on my computer, too. Let's see. Bye, Orpa. Hey, Jill. Hey, Ren. Welcome, you guys. Yeah, I'm literally like outside my house right now on my back porch. What is everyone up to? I'm here chilling, trying to get some air. I have some wine. Cassie, hey boo. Hi. Welcome, Lydia. <laughs> yes, Cassie, I am sipping. I got this. This wine is from Aldi. This is like a cheap Riesling that I really, really like. Okay. We are back, hopefully. See, don't laugh at me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, y'all, I think it's like my internet, but I, I feel like we are good right now. So to whoever who's back in here, hey, how's it going? How's your Tuesday? Jill says she's good, awesome. Are any of you essential workers? Oh, hey, Varshavu, thanks for joining. That's one of my best friends, y'all. How's French class going? Oh, my holiday was pretty chill um i did some recording i did a lot of editing for my 10k q a video got that out and i just relaxed pretty much me and my girlfriend we just like hung out in the house watched tv chilled out that was pretty much it how was your holiday <laughs> varsha why is your french lesson just bleh Did anyone cook or grill anything? Oh, medical leave, Windstar Con Casino. Oh, wow. Steamed crab. Ooh, I love crabs. There's this place here. <laughs> there's this place here in dc called hot and juicy crawfish and the crabs there the crab legs the king crab legs are bomb bomb.com like i don't know what they put in their sauce but it's really good tuesday has been long but good actually my tuesday has been pretty chill Oh, hello, C. C. <laughs> what did you bring for me? 
I see lollipops. Both of them. Sour Patch. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. TPYL. TPYL. All right, y'all. So I'm going to just start. So I just wanted to start off by saying thank you to everyone who has been supporting me starting my new series on my channel. It really means a lot to me because I've been thinking on it for a while and I finally. Ronnie said, is that hair new? Is that hair new? Oh, yes, this is new. I didn't record the review for it yet, but it'll be up in June, <laughs> like the next few weeks. So yeah, um, thank you guys for supporting Small Talk Saturdays. I've really been wanting to do a Q&A and really not just for me to tell you about myself, but it's really for us to get to know each other. I really liked how in the comments, all of you were answering some of the questions I was asking in the video. Like that really meant a lot to me. So I figured that I would just answer a few more of the questions that I got from the QA that I didn't get to get to from the video. And then we could just keep talking. And I actually have some questions to ask all of you that we can all answer together. Cool? Cool. Oh, uh, hey, Livy girl. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Joe. I'm glad. I'm really glad I can help. Seriously. And if you guys are not familiar and you need more tips on like making your wigs look natural i do have a wig 101 playlist and that is always in my description box literally everything that you need is in my description box of course you can always ask me questions in the comments but definitely make sure you check there first hey shauna girl thanks so much for joining I've been really nervous about going live, you guys. I The last time I went live was for my birthday in December, and that was my first time. And it went well, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of nerve-wracking. That's why I'm just going to sip my little Riesling, and we're just going to keep it going. <laughs> hey, Tracy. Thanks for joining, boo. You've watched this video like 50 times. Oh, my God. Don't gas me now. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. I should have recorded the review on this wig today because it is the way this is laying this is laying so nicely and it was so easy to put on all right y'all so let's get to these questions and these are questions that I gathered from Instagram let me see that I'm gonna answer on here I'm just gonna pull it up Me too, Joe. I've been watching lives more, like, this year, like, 2020. And I really like seeing people in their zone, like, whether they're at home or outside somewhere, just, you know, at their comfort level. I think it's very different than when you're recording for a video because you can edit things out. But here, it's just like, this is me. Like, you see me with my glasses on. I never wear glasses in videos because there's a glare. And that would be annoying. <laughs> but, yeah. This is a me in my element. So let me see. I'm gonna just pull up these questions. And so we can. Do, 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 do. Hey, Nikki Boo. What it do? I miss you. That's my other good friend. My friends are coming to support me. I feel so special. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm just going to run through. I think I have like 10 questions that I did not get to on the Q&A. And then I'm going to start asking y'all questions that we can all answer together. So first question, all right, this is a hair question. What is your favorite hair color? My favorite hair color, oh, that's hard. I, I A lot of you all know that I love rocking different colors when it comes to wigs, and I do tend to go towards blondes mostly, especially like really bright blondes. 
like y'all saw the platinum blonde I did. That was very new for me. But I, I do tend to gravitate towards honey blondes um, and 2730 mixes, stuff like that. So I think for hair, blonde is my favorite. But I also really love pastel colors, like pastel pink. Um, let me see, what else do I like? I want to try mint green at some point, like a mint green bob. Um, but I've tried like almost every color. I've tried yellow, red, blue. I love the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> I really wish I was like this a few years ago. Like when I had my natural hair, when I wore my natural hair more and I had it cut short. When I see girls with short natural hair trying all these colors, I'm like, oh my God, I want to do that so bad. But I don't want to cut my hair right now. So that's that. Yes, Varsha Mint Green. See, yes, I know you love the bright colors. I like red on my natural hair and wigs burned it burgundy. You know what? I was I had a huge red kick like last holiday season. Like I was all about the burgundy. Um, and then it kind of wanes a little bit, but I still love it more so in the winter months. I've never tried any color. Are you open to trying color though, Ronnie? Like, if you are, what colors would you want to try? Hey, Sana, love you too, boo. Welcome. Thanks for joining. All right, so that's my favorite hair color. Um, I'm gonna go through some more questions. Let's see. And just so you know, this is what I'm looking at. This is my computer right here, and I have my questions, and I have YouTube comments at the same time. So I can see everything. <laughs> oh man. You're a teacher, right? Can you wear color teaching? Um, at my job, people literally wear whatever they want, like within the dress code. Like obviously, like I can't wear this to teach. I can't do that. But I can wear this skirt, I can wear like a top. As far as hair. I've seen people wear various colors. I wouldn't personally do it, but I've seen people wear like bright colors to work and they kept doing it. So I'm assuming there was no problem. Same thing with piercings. Like I have a nose piercing. That's never been an issue. Me being a teacher, a lot of people have different piercings. Actually, let me take that back. No, people have nose piercings, but I don't see teachers with face piercings at my job. Like you know tongue or lip i don't see that normally ah! <laughs> my auntie's in the chat so if you see camille lapierre that's my aunt hey auntie camille <laughs> now you figured out how to work how to join my live <laughs> um Aunt camille just to update you i am continuing to answer questions that i received from my q a that i did and we're just like getting to know each other here. Too late. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite cuisine and your favorite to eat from that? I hope that makes sense. Oh, so basically this person is saying, what's your favorite cuisine in general and what particular foods do I like to eat? Um, I, favorite, that's hard. So I grew up eating a lot of Caribbean food. So favorite Caribbean food, I would say is definitely like anything with curry chicken. Like, my girlfriend C made some curry chicken the other week that was bomb, and she's not even Trini, but it tasted so good. <laughs> um, next to Caribbean food, I also absolutely love Italian food. I love pasta. Any, like, penne pasta, I love that. Yes, brown stew. Ah, Nikki, I was getting to that. <laughs> So yeah, I love pasta. I love red sauces. I'm not really big on Alfredo sauce, but any type of pasta with red sauce, I really love. Um, I do love pizza. That's like my favorite junk food, especially like if I'm out and I'm having a good time and I want something to eat before I go to bed, it's going to be pizza. I also really love sushi so, so much. Like I love it to snack on and as like a lunch meal, but I haven't had it in a while. I should probably get some tomorrow. But yeah, those are some of my favorite foods. Let me see. Um, are 
are you an only child if so would you want a sibling <laughs> okay so yes i am definitely an only child um i don't have any siblings but so within my family my aunt had two children and those are my younger cousins and i grew up with them like they're like my siblings if that makes sense um but I also, I know this sounds kind of sappy, but like my friends are like my sisters too, low key. And I, I feel like it's always been like that growing up. I tend to have really close girlfriend relationships and, you know, we're close like family. So it feels like I have siblings sometimes, but I know it's not like that. And my friends who have siblings, they're like, no, Gladys, you're an only child. Stop it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, see, I miss sushi happy hour, too. Like, I want dollar pieces of sushi. Mm. All right, next question. Um, someone said, how do you keep coming up with these dope content ideas <laughs> Kia well when it came to for example $20 Tuesday I came up with that because as long as I've been as long as I've been wearing synthetic wigs a lot of them have been in the $20 price range for a long time before they started coming out with more advancements and I was like you know what I may as well like make this a series like make this a, a thing so i was like okay but I, I like alliteration you know like um music mondays like you know when it has the same letter sound in the beginning so i was trying to think what could i what day would be good for you know affordable wigs and that's pretty much how i came up with 20 hour tuesday and since then i've just been rolling with it and people really seem to like it and vibe with it so that was one really great idea as far as oh hey, carla thank you yes this unit that i'm wearing here i love it too this is my first time actually putting it on i have not reviewed it yet but this is an affordable wig it's under 30 dollars, and i will definitely put up this review at some point in june and it looks super natural like you see the parting like it, it looks it looks good and i love the texture of this wig it feels like 4b 4c hair that's basically blown out and pressed hey aya thanks for joining oh sean i'm happy to hear that you look forward to it i do too like it's definitely become a staple on my channel and i'm so glad because it was something i was i was nervous about like anything i roll out that's new um what was i just talking about Oh, content ideas. So that's how I came up with Twenty Dollar Tuesday. Oh, Deetra, hey girl, welcome. So as far as how I came up with Small Talk Saturdays, okay. So here's what it really was supposed to be. It wasn't even supposed to be called that. I like within the first first few months on YouTube, I was like, you know, I really want to do a segment where I am just more transparent about things that I like, dislike. I mean, really anything. I just wanted it to be outside of hair because as much as I love talking hair with you guys, you know, we're all multifaceted people on here and I like talking about different things. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to get bored talking about hair. I want to do other stuff too. And I originally was going to call it Transparency Tuesdays. That's what I wanted to call it. Like I was stuck on that for the longest time. But as you can see, there was no videos <laughs> named that. Why? Because... I already had $20 Tuesdays, that was already popping off, and I didn't want to do two segments on the same day. Like, I felt like that's just too much and wouldn't make a lot of sense. Oh, is this a synthetic unit? Yes, this is synthetic, y'all. It doesn't feel like it, but it is. Um, oh, Jill, you asked me, have you ordered a wig and had to tell the company it's trash? So I have ordered, like, ordered wigs that I pay for, right? I've definitely ordered a few wigs that were not up to my standard. Um, 
and I did a video on it, like the sensational wig that I did, and the fibers were like freaking ridiculous. I don't know what happened with that. I didn't tell sensational anything. I mean, I just made a video, so if they saw it, they probably know. <laughs> Um, but normally if I get a unit that I don't like, which is seldom, that does not happen often, y'all. Like, a lot of the time when I buy a unit for myself, I end up really liking it. But there are the exceptions. Oh, thanks, that's Camille. I like my glasses, too. <laughs> I just found them, like, a month ago. Um, so yes, Jill, I hope that answers your question. Hey, Carla! Alright, so, um... Yeah, Small Talk Saturdays was originally supposed to be Transparency, Transparency Tuesdays, but that was not going to work. So I could not think of a name for the series for the life of me. And then I was um, thinking like, okay, what can I, what kind of alliteration can I make with Saturday? Because I post on Tuesdays. I sometimes post on Thursday, Fridays, but I don't like posting back to back like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't like doing that. So I was like, I, ideally, I want this series to be on a Saturday. And I was thinking like, okay, small talk Saturday. Like that just popped in my head. But I still wasn't sold on it, honestly, until I spoke to my girlfriend C about it. And I was like, C, what do you think about this? Like, do you like this title? But it's not small talk. Like we're gonna be talking about important things. And she was like, it's okay. Like Amanda Seals, she has a segment um, where she does small doses and she talks about all types of stuff. Like, you know, it doesn't have to match up in that way. And after she said that, I felt more confident about naming it small talk Saturdays. So thank you, Cece. <laughs> um, yes. So yeah, um, I feel like when it comes to creating content ideas, it's good to just, you know, however you, whether you like to write or if you have somewhere on your computer um, or maybe on your phone. And as soon as you think of an idea, you should just jot it down, even if you're on the go. And from there... I feel like from there, you can, like, reassess whether you like the idea or not. Deanna! Oh, my God. Hey, boo. Thanks for making it. Oh, look at Sana. Sana Shakui is my cousin. Say hi to my cousin. That's my sister cousin. Oh, yeah. This is a top. This is a top, and then this is a skirt. So these are separate pieces, Deanna. I love them both. I, like, wore these pieces out. All right, let me see what other questions I have here. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? Do you have any tips? Um, I did touch on this in my video, but I'll kind of just like rehash. I started my YouTube channel really because people, well, the way it started was people were started asking me, if I had a YouTube channel and I was like no and then it was like okay well are you gonna start one because I see you on your hair page on Instagram and you're always posting these cute wigs like we want to know more and I was like okay so it kind of got into my head maybe I could start one and then C and I would talk about it but I wasn't confident about it and I had my hair page for a good year but I was not consistent on is that your hair on Instagram I was posting like once a month for the first six months and then finally, um, in like September, September, October, I decided to commit to my hair page more. That was in 2018. And I was like, Gladys, if you're going to start a channel, you should probably start building some type of following here on Instagram. And that's why I started doing, um, posting consistently. And then I did, um, is that your hair holiday in December of 2018. And that kind of got the ball rolling because I noticed that more people were following me and <laughs> Shanice Nicole because I like the way you do it right there hey girl <laughs> that's my juicy fruit <laughs> always like girl you right on time it's all good I'm just talking about um how I got started on YouTube oh Jill we already like your tutorials I would love to see whatever you're interested in myself thanks Jill I'm trying to bring a little bit more of you know me outside of the hair to you guys hence also why i'm doing this live because i just feel like lives are a great way to connect and engage on a more intimate level but yeah so instagram 2018 december i'm literally i'm um, doing is that your hair holiday and i'm putting out 
just me in different wigs like even if the picture is like two years old i'm posting on instagram posting every day which felt weird because i wouldn't do that on my personal instagram and i noticed people were finding me and i reached like 500 followers on instagram and i was like oh okay i'm feeling pretty good my, by myself i'm feeling good and but i still didn't want to start youtube like i was so just i gave every excuse not to do it and then seeing for my birthday she had bought me this like backdrop thing that holds up you know big backdrops and i was like wow okay i should i should definitely like you know get my ass in gear because <laughs> she was telling me she was like you keep saying you're gonna start but what's going on you're, you're not starting and i was like you know what let me set a date yes i have variety is the spice of life <laughs> um yeah so i set a date and that's when i was like you know what january of 20 january 21st 2019 that is when i'm going to start so he was like all right cool let's do it so and that's how i pretty much started um as far as tips and advice when it comes to youtube because that's the second part of the question one thing i will say um because again i said i had wanted to start <laughs> back in early 2018 like january but instead i just started an instagram i feel like if you wait until whatever anxiety that you have dissipates you're you're never gonna start like sometimes you're just gonna have to start with that fearful feeling that you have and you're just gonna have to work through it straight up so i think that's that's a misconception for some people because they feel like oh i am going to start as soon as i feel more confident or feel better and it's just like nah just do it like that's nike's slogan for a reason because sometimes that's just what you kind of have to do so oh you're so proud of me thank you auntie camille yes carla for real and you know like I love the wig community because we are super supportive of each other and it it really i had no idea it would be like this i mean i don't even know if it was like this before but it seemed like i was welcomed with open arms and then there are a lot of people that were also like either starting or just like getting in gear at the same time i was so we kind of just found each other and started communicating a lot Shanice is definitely one of those people and i'm just like really astounded by the way we support one another which i think is really cool I was pushed, Aya says, I was pushed into my channel from always posting in the hair group. Aya, let me tell you, Star, Shining Star, for those who don't know, Star is the one that told me to start posting in the hair groups because at that point I was like maybe a few months in and I don't even know how it came up, but she was just giving me advice and she said, make sure you join these hair groups. And she told me, literally like gave me like a list of five different hair groups screenshot it and she was like join these groups now and i was like okay <laughs> and i'm so glad she told me that because i've been able to like build some community within the facebook group facebook groups as well and it's helpful because youtube's algorithm and this is like a whole other topic for another day but when youtube sees that you are getting traffic from outside sources that is also a big boost to your to your video and it makes it more likely for youtube to push your video out there to people's home pages and so forth so the more traffic that you're getting from other websites other social media platforms the better yes girl we've been rocking ever since <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's one tip I would say is just to make sure you start despite whatever fears you have. Um, oh, snap. What is that? And what's another tip that I have? I'm actually doing a video on this too, and I have like a whole outline. <laughs> Maybe I should look at my outline. I'll give you, say, like one more thing, I think. Um... And I think another thing that's important is to like once you like I don't know why there is this well I do know why I feel like 
comparison is oftentimes a thief of joy so you, people will look around and they're like wow this person has all this stuff for their channel and they have really great quality x y and z and i haven't even started yet so i need to get a camera i need to get this that, and the fourth and it's like no like literally if you have a camera on your phone that does video and you can be around natural light preferably you're good to go even if you can't be in natural light i mean you have to make it work with what you have so you don't need a, a whole lot of fancy equipment just to get started um as long as you have content that is delivering something valuable to people eventually and through other means people will find you and that'll work now as time goes on yeah of course like you could level up and get a camera maybe get lenses and so forth but i think starting out the basics is that's fine let's see team record on my iphone yes that's me i'm on my iphone talking to y'all right now while i look at my computer star is out here helping all the wig girls yeah star has been super helpful like she's always willing to share what she knows like since i've known her and I, i'm glad that like we've become cool and we're able to like exchange equally everyone's walk is different yes shanice that's very true and i really want people to like really think about that because another thing is like you can see someone it's like wow they got like a thousand subscribers in a week and i'm over here sitting at 22 subscribers for the past like five weeks and it's just like you you can't let that you know deter you you know what i mean um my story i feel like i don't know how it can really compare to a lot of other people but i did i do feel like i reached my milestones quicker than i anticipated um like with a thousand subscribers that did happen in like three months and then you know i just reached 10k so i and the goals that i set for myself in the beginning i've been surpassing them and that's been great oh my god my grandma ah you guys okay so hold the phone my grandma you'll see nola lapierre my grandma just entered the chat oh my god she's so bomb hey grandma Thank you so much for joining. My family's like really in here. Somebody call my mom and tell her to join the chat. Somebody get Karen on the line. <laughs> um, Aya says, yes, everybody, please say hi to my grandma. Please give respect to her. She is like an OG. I know, literally my whole family's here. That is so sweet. You know, I didn't even tell my family I was going live right now. But I guess, you know, we're all home on our phones. So, you know, that's cool. Oh, y'all are so cute. My aunt's like, hey, mommy. Yay. I love it. Thank you. Oh, I like red. <laughs> I like am really feeling like I'm really blushing right now. This is so funny. Yes, grandma. Thank you for joining. I know I'm your favorite granddaughter, by the way between me and you um let me scroll up a little bit Aya says I finally hit 20k last year and I've been doing this almost five years exactly like and some people are out here hitting 20k in a day like I don't know how like what kind of I don't know what that's about but <laughs> I just feel like you can't really look too much at other people and what they're doing like you might look for advice here and there but your walk your journey is your journey at the end of the day so i think that's another tip to keep in mind when it comes to youtube and also like when you do start doing youtube you really need to like hone in on your analytics because some people don't like to read analytics maybe because they are not used to analyzing data maybe that's not part of their job in just regular life and maybe that's why it intimidates them or maybe numbers intimidate them i don't know but your analytics will tell you almost everything that you need to know like i look at my analytics daily not all of it daily but like daily <laughs> because there are just certain things i need to keep looking back at and checking on and 
I feel like when you check it regularly, you're more likely to, you know, insert things into your content based on that data. All right. <laughs> Please shout out Siri. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me just update y'all. So right now, it's my aunt in the chat, my grandmother, my cousin Sana, who is 19, and my little cousin Siri. Like, what? This is so cute. <laughs> Hi, Siri Boo Boo. I love you. Oh, man. Oh, Ronnie, thank you. I like my style, too, sometimes, but I, I definitely need some, some new clothes. I, I'm, I have a whole bunch of things in the cart, and it just takes me a long time to actually order. So, I am going to stop answering the questions that I got from the Q&A, and now I kind of want to move on to asking all of you questions and i really want us to like have a discussion and we can all answer you don't have to answer everything if you don't want to but i do have questions that i want to ask you all so let me see because i put it in my notes all right okay so this is my question to the chat what do you miss the most about life pre pre covid 19. i know one thing that i miss i you know i do miss like going out with friends and doing things like brunch and happy hour like i miss that having that type of fun with my friends because we had a really, we just had such a good time. And I know the way we were last year, like as soon as it gets warm outside like this, you know, we're out. So I do miss that. Let me see. So Sanaa says hanging out. <laughs> of course you miss hanging out, Sanaa, because you home. Going out to restaurants, drinking with my friends. Oh, Shanice said my me time, going to the beauty supply store. Favorite restaurant. What are some of your um, favorite like foods? Because I don't even know. Church, my friends. I miss traveling. Oh, my God, Nikki. I miss traveling, too. Like, that's one thing I... Like, right now, I would be planning a trip for somewhere to go in June. Or I would, it would already be planned. Um, I was supposed to be in Miami in May, that didn't happen, and I just wanted to go somewhere this summer, like, oh yeah, Nikki, we were supposed to go to Mexico, like, hello. So, I don't know. I don't know when we'll be able to get on a plane again. It just feels so far away. Just, oh, Sana says seafood. Aya says definitely my me time. Yeah, that's another thing, because i'm i'm not a mother but i'm sure for those who are parents it's like you're home with your children all the time now and of course children have needs so i'm sure it's like you get way less time to yourself i can only imagine i was t i was asking c the other week i was like can you imagine if we had like one of my students in here like a four or five year old just like around the house it'd be really interesting <laughs> Um, definitely socializing, brunch, and movies. Absolutely. Brunch is, like, one of my favorite times to eat. I think it's because I like mimosas, but... <laughs> I love the, the camaraderie that comes with brunch. Um, oh, yeah, favorite food, sushi. Yep, that's definitely one of mine. Hey, Paris, girl. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, oh, Paris, I did touch on this. My top, some of my top foods are Caribbean foods, like curry chicken. I like Italian food. I love pizza. And I love sushi. Um, oh, yeah, C loves steak. Oh, that's another thing. I don't eat pork, I don't eat pork or beef. Um, I eat chicken and fish, though. Ideally, it would be nice if I could be pescatarian, but I just can't get rid of chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nakia said, I love the mussels at my new favorite spot. Oh my God, those mussels were so good. I can't even remember what they taste like anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. 
Oh, mother, you had muscles today? What kind of muscles did you have? You said you passed up an opportunity to go to Cali today. What was the opportunity? Oh, you don't eat, oh, Paris, you don't eat pork or beef either. I, you know, honestly, I think pork and beef primarily too doesn't agree with a lot of people's bodies, but because they grew up eating it, they just don't know until they know. <laughs> um, beef is just not easy to digest in general. It will be interesting to see if buffets come back and and how they will do them yes a buffet and i haven't been to a buffet in a long time but i'm just like i mean people love the buffet and it's like okay how is that gonna work <laughs> i don't know i, I don't know this, this, is, this is just wild COVID 19 is a wild ride 